Today I'm making a video, uh, not so much an amp test, but more of a comparison. I've had a lot of people tell me that my setup here must not be accurate because of the way some of these uh, power measurements are coming out on these amplifiers. So today I'm going to do a test or a comparison. I have the SCAR SK1500.1. I'm going to test this on my setup at 1 ohm dynamic. I'm going to compare that to SCAR's own test using the AD1 and see how close they really are. So here's dynamic power at 1 ohm for the SK1500.1. Sorry, I didn't have the DD1 going there so you couldn't really see it happening. Alright, so 1856 watts. So here's take two, just in case anyone's wondering how consistent this is. I'm going to go ahead and clear this and do another run. Imagine that. Nearly identical numbers. So this thing's very consistent. And I could keep doing that all day. It's going to keep putting out the same number every time I test it. All I have to do is let the batteries charge up just a little bit, get them back up where they were, and it's going to keep putting out the same number. All right, let's go compare that to what SCAR actually did on their test. All right, here's SCAR Audio's test. It's, it's the same amplifier. Test, and this is going to test burst power output of the amplifier, in this case the SK1500.1. Wow, so right off the bat, a very impressive, uh, very impressive number, 1,889 watts at 1 ohm. power, 1,898 watts at 15.03 volts. Okay, so you can see he got a little bit more power, but he also had more voltage than I do. I don't have the capability of getting up to 15 volts. I'm around 14 and a half normally, so... Uh, that's that would account for the extra, you know, 40 something watts. Um, but as you can see, it's very consistent. So I'm going to get the same number as anybody testing on 81 with this equipment. This uses the same exact parts as the 81 uses to measure the, the power. So that's not only amps and voltage, that's that's volt amps, that is not wattage. Um, all these people that do clamp tests, it is not true wattage. Ohm's law applies directly to DC uh, voltage, not to AC. It can be used on AC, but there's other factors you have to figure in. Uh, one of those is power factor. So if the amperage and the voltage doesn't happen at the same exact time, you can't count that as power. So that's what this meter does. It, it accounts for the power factor. Okay, there's a setting in here that you can actually go to and see the power factor. So this is your volt amps, this is what you would get if you would clamp this uh, amplifier, and this is your power factor, the percentage of that that's actual usable power. So that's what a lot of people just don't get. You cannot apply Ohm's Law directly to AC. You have to have other factors. So hopefully this clears up some stuff and shows that my tests are accurate. I'll have more tests coming for you, so stay tuned.